In this video, we're going to talk about statistics that are used to describe the symmetry of data. There is a class of summary statistics that describe the symmetry or skew of the distribution of data. This data has a left skew or a negative skew. All that means is that there are more values to the left of the peak than there are to the right. This distribution has a right or positive skew since there are more observations on the right. This distribution has no skew, that is, it's symmetric. The number of values to the left and the right of the peak are roughly equal. We can make this more precise. A common measure of skewness is the so-called Pearson moment coefficient of skewness, usually just called skewness. It's defined by this formula. We can break this down again. First, the denominator is the standard deviation raised to the power of 3. Go back and look at the previous video to make sure you agree. xi minus x bar is again the deviation of the observation xi from the mean. We then compute the cube of this difference. The important thing here is that xi minus x bar cubed preserves the sign of the difference. So we can think about three different scenarios. If the data points are symmetrically distributed around the mean, there is an equal number of plus and minus signs in the sum, and the sum's value will be near zero. If most of the data points are to the left, then the terms are mostly negative, and therefore the sum is negative. If the points lie to the right, then this results in a positive contribution to the sum, and a positive total. The denominator normalizes by the spread of the data, so that the number we get doesn't depend on the magnitude. So for example, if we multiply every data value by 10, the skewness stays the same. This is unlike the mean or standard deviations, which increase if we multiply all the observations by a scaling factor. The final result is a quantity gamma, which measures the extent to which the probability distribution is skewed left or skewed right. Like with central tendency and spread, there are also other statistics which measure skewness. One is called mode skewness, this is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. Another is called median skewness, this is mean minus median divided by standard deviation. It's also a convention sometimes to multiply this by a factor of 3. Basically, if the mean is to the right of the mode or median, then the distribution is positively skewed. If it is to the left, then the distribution is negatively skewed. 